<laughs> Coach Preston, um, I know it's still early, and you know you don't have linemen and a lot of stuff going on that you would typically have. But what are some of the goals for you guys and the team when you come out to some of the events like this at Bowling Green? Well, we we keep it real simple. We just want to get better and rep all the kids that we have up here a lot. We want them to all get work and get better and improve fundamentally and you know learn how to line up in our defense and offense and you know execute properly. And so we we tell our kids a lot. That we don't care if we win these things. We're not trying to win. We're trying sure. to get better at what we do. And, uh, also, it you know gives the kids something to do besides work against each other, and I think that's really good too. When you look at your skill guys that are out here, are there certain areas where you guys have experience coming back? Certain areas that you're looking to see who can step up and what you may have for the yeah, fall? Yeah, we, we we did lose a lot of seniors, so we're really really young on the defensive side. But we do have some good kids coming back that did get a lot of experience and started last year on the offensive side. So Jerry Billups is a senior; he's he's been starting his third year. At, uh, Colton Hurt was our starting quarterback last year. He's we got a good sophomore, Jackson Caldwell, Call, who's competing with him. So uh, Evan Figer, the receiver, also plays on defense. He he started all last year. So we've got some. We got a good mix. We got some back, and we we got some green ones out there too. Sure. Uh, from the sideline, you know, you guys look like a basketball team. You yeah, know, we, it looks like you got some some height and some tall guys. Is that we, the case? We do. We work. We work. We've worked really hard to get to get kids like that into the program, and we'll continue to work hard. Um, we love the kids who play two sports and three sports, and we, we sell that to them. And so we do have a lot. Of, we have several two and three sport kids out here, so that's that's good for us, and we we really believe in that. You know, year in and year out in this area, it seems like your your district in 4A is one of the tougher districts. And about every every year, it's a new team. You know, rarely do you see a repeat. You guys had a tremendous run last year, finished the season really strong. What do you guys have to do to be able to maintain that this year with some of the new players? I, I really see. A, I told the kids, you know. Um, the big thing is how we finish, not how we start. We've got a tough, tough early schedule, especially Graves County game two. That'll be a, I think mm -hmm. that there'll be a team that'll be a real threat on this side of the state in five A football. So, we'll 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 go through growing pains. I don't know how many, but we'll have them. And the thing is, try to stay healthy, positive attitude, and continue to improve fundamentally. And I think we'll be fine, and we'll be ready to. To, to line up with our district competition and compete and be, you know, do a good job with that. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. All right.